Well, good morning to everyone. It is January 30th, 2023 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. It's 6.09 a.m., 24 degrees. Um, yeah, hope you guys hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a good night's sleep. Um, of course, I'm constantly getting up to look outside to see what's going on, and it was just snowing pretty good again. So I decided to come back out and look, looked at my weather radar, and it showed that uh, we've got uh, some good snow right around the area right now. So that's why we are headed out for our first drive of the day. It's gonna be nice too because it's gonna get brighter on this drive and it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be gorgeous. Hey guys, don't forget if you guys like what I'm doing, please uh, please hit the like button, please subscribe. Let's, let's do this, let's see where we can take this channel. Thank you, appreciate it. Maybe hit the notification bell. <laughs> So since there's not going to be a lot of people on the road right now, we're going to go to the snowiest part of town again. You guys know we, we like doing that. So we're going to see what's going on over there. Unfortunately, I left my phone at home. And on my phone is how I get all my stuff on, on the screen right here. So we're not going to have much on the screen, unfortunately. Yeah, it's 24 degrees, 611 now. Mountain area is change required. Use caution. So I put in the community part of the channel a list of all the chain controls. Hopefully it's helpful for you guys. Hopefully it's very helpful for you guys. It's chains all over the mountain range, guys. Chain, chain, chain. Chains for you. We'll go through the village on the way back when it's a little bit lighter. Oh, this, oh, oh no. He slid out and hit that curve. That's, oh man. I don't like seeing that. Hope, hope he's okay. And a nice little Mercedes too. But he's right next to the busiest part of town, so. Everything's cool, there's. I'm sure he's okay. So yeah, look at the snow, guys. Look at the snow. Big, giant snowflakes. Oh, it's so, un so unreal. It is so pretty. But yeah, guys, road conditions, chains are required everywhere. Look at this. I mean, just look at that. It's so amazing out here. So do you guys remember I said that my, my prediction was like four inches probably, something like that, from the whole storm, even though they said it's gonna be about a foot and some other forecasts were saying like seven to 10 inches as the storm began, it went down a little bit. Well, uh, my new, my new forecast is uh, not four inches anymore. It's a total of maybe two inches from this whole storm. I know guys, horrible, it sucks, but it is what it is. Guys, I mean, seriously, look at, look at how beautiful this is. I love these huge snowflakes. So the reason why I'm saying that is because there is there's nothing much on the radar. And even my weather channel app, when I just got up this morning, said in the next 48 hours, one inch maybe. It had the less than sign next to it. So um, hopefully it's wrong. 
Oh my gosh, this is so pretty though. These are such beautiful snowflakes. It's 23 degrees now. So less than one inch of snow. But there's still the winter storm warning. It's still staying above 7,000 or uh, between six and 7,000 feet, seven to 10 inches of snow. Usually they'll update the winter storm warning as well. So that hasn't, that part hasn't changed much. So we'll see, hopefully uh, it does happen, but it's really not looking like it guys. So those of you who wanted to come up today, that's another reason why I'm really glad to do this really early video. It's because I want you guys to know that I think you'll be okay. Um, you need chains, obviously. Obviously, yeah, so obviously. Obviously. But, I think you'll be okay. And please do not think by the way that I'm driving and never having any issues that it's just, it's just happy-go-lucky on the road. You saw that Mercedes crashed into the curb and um, it's, uh, it's, it's still treacherous, you guys. It's very treacherous. So just be very, very vigilant. Um, yeah, I really want you guys to come up here. I want you guys to really come enjoy it. Because it is a sight to behold. Beautiful snow in Southern California. Gosh, it's gorgeous. A little later on today when we get some more snow and when my wife's awake we're gonna do a live feed so who knows that might be around 11 in the morning maybe noon that's when it looks like another good part of this little storm is gonna come through and you know what we're coming up to a lot uh, to some traffic here so we're probably gonna turn around so we don't have to deal with this but we're almost to the dam. I wish I could... Oh, you know what? I can pull out the map. Oh, sweet. See, I can use this map. This this other generic map that comes with my car. So on the very left-hand side there of the lake, that's where the Big Bear Dam is. So that is where we are headed to right now. But as I said, we're probably going to turn around as we are entering the snowiest part of the Big Bear Valley. I do hope you guys got a good night's sleep. Hope everything's going well for all of you guys. Um, I really do hope you're really enjoying this channel. I love doing these videos for you guys. It's fun. It's beautiful. It's just special. And I am really tired. Well, I have an obsession, man. I have an obsession. Obsession for me. I, I tell you guys to call 800 Caltrans. Um, there's also a Caltrans app that you guys can check out. The information I got to put on the community part of the channel, that is actually um, when I tried to download the Caltrans app, it cost money, so I decided not to, but there was another app like right below it. I can't remember what it was, but I, I downloaded that one and got all that, that information. So it was free. Free is always good. I guess we are gonna go to the dam, why not? We're almost to the John Claude Van Dam anyway. And then, the big reason why I, I, I like to, to go all the way at the dam is just, as I said, because it's the snowiest part of the valley. Look at these huge snowflakes. And uh, 
when we come back. Usually we'll go around the lake, but we're just gonna make a U-turn and then come back the other direction. So you guys can see what the drive's gonna be like for you. Most of you come up this direction. So that's gonna be cool to be able to give you guys that perspective of these road conditions. But everything is so pretty out here. I love it when the roads are caked with snow and ice because it, it just, to have a little blanket of snow everywhere is just so beautiful. It's, it's so beautiful. It completely transforms this place. And the, the picture from this video, uh, when it gets a little lighter out here, is going to be just epic, you guys. Just a little lighter, like 15 minutes from now, 10 minutes from now. Oh man, these iPhones, they produce such beautiful picture in that that type of light outside. Here we go, look at this. Here we go, we're coming up to the dam. Just magnificent. As I said, we'll do the village drive because we don't have to worry about any uh, traffic at this hour. Okay, so there's no cars coming. We're just gonna have to do this real quickly. All right, here we go. Get a little loose on that turn. Yeah, boy. There's the lake to the left. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is what I. This is the winter wonderland I love, guys. I love it, I love it, I love it. Obviously, I wish we had a lot more snow. As I said, I'm I'm hoping we get a lot more snow out of this, but I'm not that hopeful. And guys, if it doesn't snow a bunch more, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a live feed unless we're getting some, some snow later. So that's gonna be an issue because I really wanted to do another live feed for you guys because I, I can see you guys really, really enjoy them. So I'll, I really want to do, do it for you guys. village with this light in the background because it's such a such a perfect time of day to record so we're, we're going to kind of go the speed limit as close as we can not around the turns of course but it's just so pretty so this is the way most of you will be coming in about 85 percent of you 90 percent of you come up this way so once you get to the dam this is what it's going to be like entering big bear valley Magnificent, malevolent. Okay, we are entering Big Bear Lake, California. Here's the sign right here Big Bear Lake. It's population 6,025, elevation 6,750. 
Once again, it is R2 conditions. That's uh, that's road talk, folks. That means that chains are required. If you have four-wheel drive and snow tires, you are good. Four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, and snow tires, you are good. If you have four-wheel drive with just winter tires or all-terrain tires, you're not good. You still have to put on tire chains. I know that's crazy, but it is what it is. I just don't don't want don't want you guys getting getting stuck up here. And mainly meaning actually driving up here and then getting to the to the checkpoints and getting turned around because that's never fun. It's happened to me many times as a youngster driving up here with my friends. Here's Boulder Bay to the left. It's not the best view of Boulder Bay, but it is Boulder Bay. I'm just gonna keep it right here for a moment. just left the snowiest part of town. to go through the village with not many people in there. It is going to be very beautiful. Look, you can see in the distance some uh, clear sky, not really clear sky, but a little hole in the clouds out there. Now it's gone because the tree's blocking it, but... place to take your kids sledding it costs money but there is um, a motorized walkway that'll pull your kids up to the very top so they don't have to get tired climbing up to the top to go sledding up there so it's a great little spot to take the kids there's also a big bear snow play that's another great spot to take the children um, I've shown you guys a couple of the free spots if you guys have it, ever, ever any questions about the, the free areas just send me a comment and once again, guys, if you guys like what I'm doing and enjoy what I'm doing, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, it helps my bottom line here. It helps my videos get viewed, get passed around, get seen out there. <coughs> All right, guys, we are going to head straight into the village. We're going to go straight here instead of turn left. And I believe this is now Village Drive.
done a video at that hotel for you guys. I want to do one here, but it was a thousand dollars a night. Just I just looked it up for tonight and tomorrow night. I can't believe it. I was gonna stay, but not not gonna do it. It was like eleven hundred dollars actually. Kind of kind of a bit of a ripoff. When it used to be like two hundred and fifty a night, which was still uh, kind of a ripoff. I've I've been in there and it's it's not. I mean, I I guess I wouldn't be too upset with two hundred fifty a night, but still, it's uh, it, there's nothing real real special about it. it. It looks beautiful, definitely looks beautiful. I'll tell you that, but it's not it's not that special. I mean, look at this. Look at this village. Just absolutely incredible. Bear with me a second here. Let me zoom in. Big plows. These plows guys do such a great job up here. Such a great job. They keep you all safe. They keep us all safe. It's really, really awesome. Oh, thank you, guy. I appreciate that. Alright. Yeah, look at the sky straight ahead. That's, uh, we're looking out over Baldwin over there where you see some of the holes in the clouds. That's very typical. It'll be just socked in over by the village or over by the dam. And then on the other side of town, it'll be uh, possibly big holes in the clouds and not snowing at all. hear a pin drop out there but I'm talking the whole time so it's hard to hear that pin drop guys I hope all of you are very well hope, hope hope you guys slept well I guess we'll turn up Summit Boulevard why not get a little loose right here there we go Drive up to Snow Summit real quickly and see what's going on here. There's not going to be any parking crew outside, so we can do a quick little drive by. And then we're going to call it a day, or call it a video, not a day. Definitely going to be doing another video later. Um, hopefully, it's going to snow pretty, pretty good, so I can get the wife with me and we can do a live feed for you guys. was get out and walk around but yesterday when we were in this same area you couldn't see the see the slope at all because it was it was snowing yeah, let's 
just gonna look out the window here, see what's going on there. Oh yeah, guys. What a beauty. What a beauty. Snow Summit Ski Resort, you guys. And beautiful, sunny Southern California. So this tour is going to end at Apple's Bed and Breakfast. So we're going to turn right on this street, this next street called Evergreen. Here it is. It's kind of hard to see the street, but here it is. Once we get past the stop sign, there's some massive houses, beautiful homes over here. These are all your, your pretty typical homes in Big Bear right here, but then once we cross this stop sign for this next couple blocks, you got some luxury homes. homes it gets bigger and bigger the further we go this this direction on both sides of the road this is one of my favorite houses up here on the corner here I just live right across the street where I'm pointing the camera right through those woods in my little like 450 square foot shack. Yeah. yeah some of these homes are just magnificent. I said I just live right across through there. This house I've, I've always wanted to stay in. It's just, it's just a big house. All right, guys. We are at Apple's Bed and Breakfast. It's that pink building in front of us. Haven't stayed there yet, but when I do, I will be doing a video for you guys. It's uh, a little pricey for what it is, but that's what everything is in Big Bear these days, unfortunately. So I might have to suck it up and do that. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys really want, once again, if you really enjoy what I'm doing, please, please help me out by hitting like and subscribing. It really helps a lot. It really helps a lot. It makes it so these videos can be seen everywhere because uh, it goes into, it's it's got something to do with the, um, the uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, it's so early right now. Um, I can't remember the, the algorithm. That's what it is, the algorithm. So it would really help me out. I appreciate you guys very much. I will never let you guys down. Remember, it's R2 conditions right now. Since I forgot the name of the website, call 800 Caltrans to uh, get your up-to-date information if you're driving up here, or go download the Caltrans app or an app similar to it, a free app would be best. Anyway, thanks again, you guys. Love you guys very much. It's January 30th, 2023. <laughs> And it's 23 degrees, and this is where we are shutting off the video. That's where we're at, right there. Take care, y'all. This is Moon Ridge Road. I love you guys with all my heart. Thank you for all the support.